Hi everybody. Today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of little things in terms of the inexpensive makeup that I've been looking into lately. I have, um, I actually bought, I think I mentioned it in my last video, I bought this LA Color Strobing Holiday Kit at Walgreens yesterday. It was $10 and I tried it today and this is the result of it. I think it's really nice. It offers you 10 different colors. I've tried a couple of them. The one that I wound up doing today was this one. I don't know what it's called. Let me see, did it have? No, I don't see names on the colors, but it's the fourth one over on the top row and I think it gives me a nice kind of look. I must say that I used something different under eye concealer today and it really, really creased. So I have to go back to the tried and true. But this is good. I mean, it offers you some really nice options in terms of color. I'm having a problem opening everything lately. So bear with me, okay. really is nice. Let me do a few swatches. I'm going to do the bottom row. I don't know if this is showing up at all. All right, let me try all of them and then I'll show it to you. I like the second one a lot. It's sort of in the pinky peachy tone. The third one is, these are very, they're very powdery. So I think you really have to kind of work it in. I like the fourth one as well. And this is the fifth. So you tell me if they show up. But you can see a little bit of glimmer as I, this was awkward. Well, note to self, don't do that again. Okay. But the lighter ones have some real nice glimmer to them. I don't think swatching it is going to help with this because it's just not showing up the way that it should. But again, for a $10 thing for 10 colors, it's definitely worth a shot. I will just apply a tiny bit more of the one that I used today and show you how it translates. So I think it has a nice look. Anything that helps rejuvenate the look of an aging face is a good thing. So I used it on my cheeks. I used it on the tip of my nose. Works well there. And just a tiny bit up. I used it here just a little bit to catch the light and down here. Did not do it on my Cupid's bow today because I already had my lipstick on by the time I did this. So just wanted you to be aware of that. I also bought the butter bronzer that a number of YouTubers have been talking about. Never would have occurred to me to buy it. This is the physician's formula because I do have quite a number of bronzers, but I've heard people say it's really, really good. I do not understand for the life of me the brush that they put in with this. At least it's not a broom, but it's it's rubberized. Who does that? What is this? I would never use that. In any case though, I'm wearing it today and I think it gives me a really nice look. Tell me what you think. I think it really works. So yes, I'm thinking it's good. They didn't seem to have any different color options. It's just called bronzer. And I will continue to play with it and let you know how I feel as time goes by. But for today, I'm liking it a lot. I also tried out today from that dollar haul that I did from uh, Shop Miss A. This was the waterproof eyeliner, JK Just Color. And I'm, I used that today. 
I decided to do a cat eye, so take a look at the whole look. And I think it's good. It's a little bit liquidy. So for myself, I prefer it to be just a Yeah, take a look. It's, it's liquidy. I prefer something that's not quite that liquidy. I do like the applicator tip because it's firm enough to... Um, Whoa, that is waterproof, <laughs> not coming off. I'll have to take it off with a makeup remover. Oh, I forgot to tell you also that the other item that I had mentioned very briefly when I first told you about the things from Shop Miss A was the makeup wipes. I got it in the cucumber scent and I like them. They really seem to work well. Now, I did order something else the other day, and when it comes in, I'll tell you all about that. But this is the first time I've used wipes like this. And again, for a dollar, how can you go wrong? They really worked well, and they did take the makeup off well. So I have to say that one uh, was a good purchase as well. Um, there was one other thing. Oh, I guess just to show you the look for today... For my lipstick, I just did a Rimmel pencil. Color is Cherry Kiss. Just to give it a little definition. And, and I used my old standby, my Laura Geller Love Me Do crayon in the Honey Fizz. I love this. It's a really nice neutral for me. It's got that little bit of glimmer. I like it with the uh, Cherry Kiss as my liner because I think it warms up the whole look and I think I need just a little something extra because of my sallow complexion. So that, and I have to tell you once again, I did my eyes essentially with the Profusion Kits. I went for a, uh, well, the cat eye look for sure, but I wanted to do a cut crease today. So it turned out to be a little bit of a bastardized version of a, Oh, a cut crease and it's a, pro a possibly a sloppy cut crease but I think it's not bad for these old eyes. The other thing that I used today was the Mixed Metals, again Profusion Mixed Metals Eyes and I just used this. It's a very pale green and the colors that I used were in the purpley colors for the rest of it. So again, a very simple look, but in the end, I think it looks nice. I think it certainly keeps my eyes in focus. And again, I don't have any of the wigs on today, so I don't have the benefit of that. And tell me what you think of the finished look. I think it's pretty good. And again, so far, I'm really pleased with a lot of the inexpensive products that I've bought, I've bought lately. And I think, as I say, for those of you on a budget, there's some really, really nice options. So that's it for today. Just a real quick, here you go, and give me your input. It's another dismal day here, and I have to tell you, it is mid-December, and it is already, it has snowed twice. I don't like it to snow once. I mean, it snows. It's just where I live. But every winter, I ask people if they want to adopt me, if they live in a better climate. So if you're in a better climate, let me know. Okay, last thing for today, I want to remind you that the giveaway is going till the 20th, and that's only in five days, is it? Five days? Yeah. And so if you're interested in entering that and you live in the U.S., by all means, do go to that video. Uh, will you take a look at this? This is at the end of a very long day once again. And look how well the makeup stayed on. My, I didn't bother to uh, put the lipstick back on, just ate a little something. So it's kind of worn off, but I wanted you to see the look as it is. The face makeup, my highlighter, the eye makeup, it all stayed on pretty flawlessly considering it's the end of the day. So once again, I think it's a thumbs up. 
And once again, we're working with the really low priced makeup. I did, I forgot to tell you before, when I did the, um, that waterproof eyeliner from the Dollar Shop Miss A, it, I told you it was very liquidy and I did use it, but I wound up going over it with my old, old fail safe Stila uh, eyeliner that I've had for a very long time. As a matter of fact, it's time to buy another one just to reinforce the uh, the corners because it started, it was a little bit patchy in the corners and I wanted to make sure that it was good. But all the rest of it, I'm very, very impressed with the way it's, it stayed on. So there you go. Once again, we're doing well with the inexpensive stuff. Take care.